Hello and welcome back to the Imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. It is day 22 and it's actually day 22 today and not just me confusing day 21. So let's see what the day has in store for us today. 22, it's, uh, oh, you know what? I thought that was going to be a coin for some reason, but I don't think that's the case. I thought it was a lot smaller than... Uh, Oh, no, it's a promo again. Okay, then. Are we ready to see what day 22 is going to give us? Hey, it's a Pikachu, but it's a Christmas Pikachu. That's very nice, actually. That's very cute. I'm going to go sleeve it quickly. There we go. He's, uh, he's a very cute little mouse in the forest with a nice uh, symbol at the corner there. It is horribly bent, but again, I will be putting this under a very heavy book. Right, on to the box. Wait, jump cut. Um, so somehow, you know, uh, a few days ago, there was a coin that went missing in one of these things. Well, it was just kind of chilling just below there. So we have a red deli bird coin. I'm really digging this, actually. That's, uh, that is really cute. You know, I, I said the first coin was like, eh, whatever, it's fine. This is genuinely really charming. I've never seen a deli bird coin before. That is really cute. Right, okay, on to the box for real this time. All right, so we don't have very much left now, as we can see with that pile. So, first up is a pack of Silver Tempest. What will this contain today? Will we get at least a trainer gallery? I really like a trainer gallery. But, I mean, there's no guarantee, obviously, with any packs. That is the excitement of these videos, really, isn't it? So, four to the front. And say it's a fighting energy, I would be wrong. Okay, we begin with a worker. Next up is Dracloak. Ah, Sunflora! Sunflora features weirdly heavy in Scarlet and Violet. Which is kind of interesting. We've got a Swirlix. Hey, Marini. Very cute. That's that's a really adorable Marini, actually. We've got an Indeedy, another quite cute Pokemon. Hey, Baltoy. Uh, not sure many people would consider him cute, but you never know. Hey, Sunkun, to go with that Sunflora. I think next could be... No, okay. Oh, it's a reverse Rotom again. I'm pretty sure we pulled this a few days ago as well. The exact same reverse. And our rare is a Kling Clang, a non-hollow rare. But... Hey, we pulled one or two cards there. The Sunflora was very cute. So, there you go. Uh, right, what will be the next... Oh, it will be Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, this has to be the penultimate one, I reckon. Or the ultimate one, maybe. Uh, as in, it's the last one. But we'll see uh, in a few days, I guess. We have Soldier Dragons. That's very cool. Next up is Background Dragon. Background Dragon, okay. Is this a dragon pack? No, it's not. We have a DD Pro Chevalier. Cavalier? Chevalier, I suppose. We have a Mirror Force Dragon. Good lord, there's a lot of dragons in this. <gasps> Yo, let's go. We have a Delta the Magnet Warrior. Dude's a magnet. Ah, oh, that's really cool. I like that card. That's very nice. Don't know what you'd call that rarity, but it's very cool. We've got a Super Quantal Alphan Strike. Yep. Uh, we've got an Escape from the Dark Dimension. Next up is Metal Force Silvered. I think we've pulled that before. Oh, yo, we've got a Dot Skeeper. That's really cute. It's like those um, pixel -y, pixel hero things Lego does, I want to say. And, ooh, we have a Metal Foes Crimsonite. Sorry, I just could not find a good angle for that. A Metal Foes Crimsonite. So that's a regular rare. But that was pretty cool. We got a Magnet Warrior <coughs> in the pack as well. Right, well, I will see you guys for day 23 tomorrow. It's getting pretty close now. Until then... Goodbye.